Now, in terms of our managing uh, partner survey, this is the 17th year we've done the survey. And the first thing I noted was that revenue growth was down dramatically, according to our respondents from last year. What I mean by is much fewer people are reporting revenue growth. Um, this year, only 62% of respondents said that their revenue grew, as opposed to last year, we had 70%. Um, but keep in perspective, that's still better than 2010 when only 46% saw revenue growth. Um, interestingly, um, those who said revenue was down was, was up a fair amount. 10.3% of our respondents this year said that revenue was down as opposed to 2011 when only 6.7% said revenue was lower. Now in terms of RPL though, it's pretty much equal to what it was last year. About 60% of respondents said that uh, revenue per lawyer um, was up. 58% um, saw increases in net profits, and that's down sharply from 2011 when 76% saw increases in net profits. Um, and once again, the, the results mirror 2010 um, when only 55% of respondents said they saw net profits increase. Another interesting thing, and maybe this is sort of a, uh, an indication of caution, or maybe people haven't had the kind of success with the growth opportunities that they thought they would, but those actively seeking mergers is down, way down, for 2012. Um, only 6.5% of respondents said they were actively seeking merger opportunities. In 2011, it was 16.7%, and in 2010, it was 14.8%. 58% um, were still open to mergers, and that compares to 53% last year and 63% in 2010. So definitely a lot less interest in, in, in looking for merger opportunities, which if I had to guess, is more of a sign of just caution given sort of the uncertainty in the economy and the political structure. Now to the almighty profits per equity partner. 58.6% um, said PPP went up this year versus 72% the year before. Now while down, it's still better than 2002 survey results where only 37% said profits per equity partner was up. On the other hand, for this year, 2012, 20.7% said PP went down. And again, that's a sharp difference from 2011 when only 3.4% said it went down. But again, to some degree, the results, it's interesting, 2012 and 2010, it's, there's a, <laughs> they mirror each other, I think, overall, and then in some of the, the testier categories, 2010 was worse, so take that for what it's worth. But uh, you know, in 2010, roughly 30% of respondents said profits per equity partner were down. Now how did they do it? How, did they, how, were, they able, how were those who, who raised profits, how were they able to do it? Once again, for the third year in a row, amazingly, given, this, given the climate and what, from what we hear from inside counsel, um, once again, it was through raising billing rates. 65.4% of those who reported um, a pro or increase in profits attributed to raising rates. That wasn't as high as 2011, when 73.9% of the respondents said they did it through raising rates, but it was in line with 2010, when 65.2% said it was through raising rates. The next most popular actions cited by managing partners um, for maintaining profitability were switching practice areas to, a, um, to focus to a higher demand areas. Um, this year, 30.8% cited this. Um, and that was the second most cited reason in 2011 as well, when 39.7% of the respondents cited that. But then here's what gets interesting. In the past, like 2010, um, a large, part of the, large number of the respondents, when asked how did they get, how did, you know, how were they able to be profitable, they focused heavily on cost-cutting measures, um, particularly staff, marketing costs, things like that. And I mean, give you an idea, like, you know, it was in percentages probably in the 28, 29, 30 percent um, range. Um, this year, for the first time, in terms of why partners think they maintain profitability. Partners targeted, um, they targeted partners for the first time, um, much more so than 2010 and 2011, at least according to our survey. Um, it was the third most cited reason for maintaining profitability in 2012 was reducing the number of equity partners. 26.9% um, of the respondents said that's what they did. By comparison, only 8.7% said that in 2011 and only 13% in 2010. So that's a big jump. In addition, 15.4% of respondents said they laid off non-equity partners. That's also up sharply from only 4.3% in 2011. You know, what this suggests to us is that PA firms may finally be moving in the direction that consultants have been telling them for years, which is they really need to reduce 
They really need to trim their partnership ranks. Um, that's something that most, I think, consultants, not just in Pennsylvania, but across the nation, would tell you that Pennsylvania firms lag behind some other regions, such as, I guess, New York, D.C., San Francisco, in terms of trimming their partnership ranks. This is the first indication I've seen, at least in any kind of thing that we've looked into, where it, it seems to be that it's catching on in Pennsylvania. Now, last year, I was able to say that it looks like the cost-cutting days are over. Um, and I'm, this is what I talked about. I'm glad there's no windows here. But apparently, cost-cutting measures weren't done in 2012, and they're not done for next year. And it's on managing partners' minds. So I'll get to that now. Um, you know, laying off staff, reducing marketing costs, reducing entry-level hiring, they were all up significantly in 2012, according to our survey, compared to 2011. All three areas were cited by our respondents in roughly around the 19% range. Um, they weren't as high as 2010, but they did make a big jump this year. You know, like I said, last year I said cost cutting seemed to be largely done. According to our survey, it made a comeback in 2012. And according to our respondents, it's not over yet. In 2011, 12.9% of our respondents said they laid off staff. In 2012, that number shot up to 21.9%. And whereas last year only 6.7% said they planned on laying off staff, that number grew to 9.4% this year. So keep in perspective, last year's respondents only 6.7% said they were going to lay off staff, and the end result was 21.9% of them did. Um, according to our survey, attorney layoffs are also on the horizon. Um, this year, 18.8% respondents said they were going to lay off attorneys in the coming year. That's up from 6.5% in 2011. In addition to this year's survey, 23.3% of respondents said they expect to de-equitize de partners in the coming year. You know, and this, but despite all the doom and gloom, again, that's what we get in their survey results. When we meet with people anecdotally, we're not hearing that. And I don't know that everyone's just BSing us or trying to put a happy face on it. I think it's a mixture of things. 